Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Freddy and Circle Dotelu, for facilitating this uh, today. Um, I will talk 10 minutes around uh, pre attack. So, uh, not the enterprise attack framework, but the very important pre attack uh, framework. So, let's dive into it. Um, so, my name is Stan van de Castelo. I have a few years of experience in cybersecurity, was part of different organizations in, in, in different roles uh, until the moment that I had the, the crazy idea to uh, co-found a startup called Sweepatic. Uh, in a nutshell, Sweepatic is a data-driven cybersecurity uh, venture. It's, it's based in, in Belgium and we develop, operate, lifecycle manage a reconnaissance platform, uh, a reconnaissance platform that is doing three things. It is doing uh, a full-fledged discovery and analysis of all internet-facing assets of victim organizations, and it's checking them for uh, attack paths, uh, exposures, and likelihoods towards uh, attacks. We call that attack surface monitoring. Right, the, who heard about pre-attack and who is applying it? Or maybe those are two separate questions. Who heard about the pre-attack framework? A few hands, great. Who is doing something around pre-attack? Okay, three hands, great. Um, so pre-attack to position that in the attack planning process or the kill chain, uh, pre-attack is in the beginning. So it's focused around uh, hostile reconnaissance, um, preparing adversaries or preparing, of course, their attack. Why? Because they assess the likelihood uh, of, of their success, but also to assess the likelihood of being detected. So they take uh, time uh, to collect as much information as possible uh, before they proceed in, in the attack planning uh, process. The pre-attack framework is, uh, has in fact uh, three more tactics, so it has 15 uh, tactics, tactics compared to the, the 12 tactics of the enterprise uh, attack framework. Uh, there are around 174 uh, techniques uh, in this uh, framework. So it's it's quite uh, it's a quite big uh, it, it, it's a quite big uh, framework um, that boils down to let's say five clusters. Okay, so let's let's go through them. Uh, the top one is the target selection. That is the objective that a adversary has. It can go from uh, information exfiltration, so stealing of sensitive information. It can range to uh, destroying systems, uh, whatever the motive, the objective is of uh, of a threat actor. That is done in the in the target uh, selection phase. So there are a bunch of tactics uh, around three dedicated with different techniques, how adversaries are uh, conducting uh, the target selection. If we go to the second one, uh, reconnaissance, uh, that is all about information gathering. Uh, so once they nail down uh, a target or a bunch of targets, they will try to collect as much information as possible about the people, the processes, the technologies uh, related to their victim uh, organization. One of the techniques uh, that you probably all are aware of is active subdomain enumeration. So they typically flesh out uh, the entire DNS map of a uh, company uh, in order to then further enrich are there any exposed services or are there any uh, potential weaknesses or likely attack paths that they could uh, take in order to further penetrate uh, the, uh, the environment. This is the weakness uh, uh, the weakness identification. Um, 
The operational installation, the fourth cluster, is around uh, them preparing their offensive capabilities or the start of preparing of offensive capabilities. For example, is uh, one of the techniques that they uh, use is around cyber squatting. So being aware when others register domains that look like yours is uh, very valuable as an early warning indicator to figure out if that uh, is was was recently done uh, it's important to to have a capability uh, really early in the kill chain to inform you uh, when those operational installations are uh, in development so we uh, as as an as as a community as organizations um, can come more out of a reactive mode so attack enterprise attack is is focused around the, a lot around detection and and the response side of things uh, which is great a lot of capability uh, is, 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 is available in organizations there. But we see that a lot of awareness is required to make them more proactive and to be more uh, informed from an, from an early on uh, perspective, which will cost them also less, uh, le less money to in, instead of cleaning up and running from incident to incident. So in pre-attack, the um, operational installation, we have done the capabilities development. That is the last cluster that is covering the, the 15 tactics of, uh, of, of, of pre-attack is uh, what we call the weaponization. So that's where they will prepare um, uh, a certain exploits. Uh, that's where they will uh, prepare a, a certain spear phishing uh, campaign uh, dedicated to the target that they selected in in the, in the first phase. If you want to, if you if you're interested to know more, uh, we wrote uh, a blog post uh, about that with you know more more information about the five clusters. Uh, through Sweepatic, we are uh, heavy supporters of, of Mitra, the work that, that they are doing around attack. Um, with regards to pre-attack, of course, this is really down our alley. We are uh, pretty excited and, and, and close. So I uh, was in an email thread recently because they have their important uh, conference next week. And I asked them, look, uh, what is the update around uh, pre-attack? And so, um, it, it, so they're going to merge uh, pre-attack. Uh, so this is really like uh, I made the slide uh, yesterday. So it's from an email thread where they confirm that, uh, and this is great news, I think, is that pre-attack will be recognized uh, more if it will be embedded within the enterprise attack uh, framework. Uh, so what they plan to do is that they will would, would deprecate the first three pre-attack tactics. So these are around the target uh, uh, selection. Um, the reason for that is uh, is probably because the type of techniques are maybe not that real life. So I think uh, Mitra was recognizing that also this morning that uh, we need to make sure that the techniques are as real life as, as possible. Uh, and so the first three uh, tactics, tactics in, in pre-attack uh, were, were, were not that uh, real life, let's say. Uh, so the rest of the tactics uh, will will be ingested into the uh, enterprise attack, which is a great uh, uh, evolution. And here they said as well that their goal is to represent all of the real world tactical activity uh, that is covered by the 12 remaining uh, pre-attack tactics, and they will merge that into uh, attack. So they will to obviously talk more themselves about this work in progress. Um, if, if you have the time, I, I, I will also take the time to, to check their live stream uh, next week. So the, the link is at, at the bottom. Uh, so you can stream that from, from your desk or, or, or from home. Uh, that's going to be uh, pretty exciting stuff there. Um, 
As I said, this is a work in, in, in progress. They plan to, uh, to, to do a huge update around pre-attack uh, early next year, uh, but I'm sure that uh, they will talk more about that themselves uh, next week. So my, my presentation was rather short, uh, so I don't know if there are any uh, questions. If not, I thank you for your attention.